Let's take the next question. The question says, Amal purchases some pens at rupees eight each. So the cost price per pen has been given to me. To sell this, he hires an employee at a fixed wage or a fixed remuneration which he has to afford. He sells hundred of these pens, the first hundred of these pens at twelve rupees each. If the remaining pens are sold at rupees eleven each, then he makes a net profit of three hundred. While if he makes, uh, if he sells the remaining pens at rupees nine each, he makes a loss of three hundred. So when you sell it, the remaining number of pens at eleven, there's a profit of three hundred. If you sell the remaining number of pens at rupees nine, there's a loss of three hundred. The question is, what is the wage of the employee? Now, what is what can lead you to the answer for finding the wage of this employee? You have on one side you can find out the total sales or the sales uh, by spend by first calculating what is the total number of pens which I have actually uh, purchased and sold, and I can find out the cost price and the selling price also. Removing that with the wage of the employee can give me either the profit or the loss. So that's the way you can proceed to solve this question. Now, the important highlights I would love to mark here. It says, when you're selling the pens for rupees 11 each, you're getting 300 rupees profit. When you're selling it for nine rupees each, which is a loss of two rupees per pen for X number of pens, I'm making a loss of 300. So from plus 300, I repeat from plus 300, I'm coming to minus 300. So my overall value is actually reducing by, my overall value will actually reduce by 600. My overall value will actually reduce by 600 if I reduce the price of each of the X by two. So I can find out the number of pens which is sold above 100 is basically 300. I hope all of you have understood this. The number of pens which I've actually sold will basically be 100 plus 300 which is 400. Why? because 300 is post 300 calculation. Now that's the total number of pens which I find out. The question is find the wage or the remuneration of this employee. Now, let's take the total sales which I have got. The first 100 pens have been sold for rupees 12 each. The next 300 pens have been sold for rupees 11 each. I repeat, the next 300 has been sold for rupees 11 each, right? This is accommodating uh, overall 400 pens which I have actually sold. My cost price for 400 of these pens will basically be 8 into 400 minus the wage of this employee which is my cost which is also my cost should give me a net profit of 300. Should give me a net profit of 300 is the question saying. So this value will become 1200. This value will become 3300. This is 3200 minus wage should be equal to 300. Now, if you solve this, you want a question of the question is about find a wage or W for this answer. The wage or the remuneration for this employee will come out to as 1000 as the final answer. Easy question, which you have solved it really well in the examination.